every once in a while, there comes around the game that when you first lay your eyes on it, you know, God damn, I'm going to be playing this game. And for me, that was when I first saw No Rest for the Wicked. Now, on April 18th, I'm going to get that opportunity because Moon Studios is releasing the game for early access on April 18th on Steam. If you want to play it, make sure you get on Steam right away and wish list it. They're going through the wish list as we speak. So make sure you wish list it on Steam. Now, I'm super excited. And in this video, although I have not played one second of No Rest for the Wicked, we're going to talk and give, I'm going to give you a little overview of what to expect in the game. And oh my God, you better get ready to change your ARPG habits. Because as the developers have said many times, they created this game because they wanted to advance the ARPG genre. Anyway, we're going to get into that and a lot more. And before I get come back around, let's watch the official trailer of No Rest for the Wicked. And we'll see you on the other side. So, it's true. The king is dead. We find ourselves in a place we never sought. The threat of anarchy swells beneath us. Done begging for scraps. We take what we need. A plague that spent a thousand years confined to stories is now clawing at our gate. Vegetables, it festivals, everything it touches. It's a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. God's chosen ascent. History will remember how we answer. No matter the cost. Oh man, I got goosebumps watching that. I can't wait for the 18th. And by the way, make sure you come and watch me live on Twitch. I'll be streaming No Rest for the Wicked for God knows how long. But anyway, Sammy Caps is the channel. Make sure you come and hop on in and watch me play No Rest for the Wicked. Okay, so what can you expect for No Rest for the Wicked? So these are some of the things. Like I said in my previous segment, the developers of No Rest for the Wicked, Moon Studios, have said, you know, obviously they've been influenced by a lot of genres and a, a lot of games, um, but they want it to be different, if I can summarize it myself. They want to advance the ARPG genre. And so what does that mean? They want to advance the ARPG genre. They want to get away from the typical mentality of an ARPG game. Click the mouse, screens blowing up, just click, 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 like, you know, just bomb carpeting everything, right? They wanted to make a game that was more precision oriented, more tactical oriented. And it's just phenomenal what they have done with this game. It sounds amazing. So number one, this world that they've created, they've said it's not randomly generated. It is handcrafted, fully open world. It's procedurally generated, not randomly generated. Look it up. You'll see it's a big difference because when it's procedurally generated, it means it's a world that you can immerse yourself into, get lost into. And that's what Moon Studios wants to create. And 
like I said, it's a different approach to ARPGs in many different ways. So they wanted to take a, like I said, they wanted to take a step back from spamming buttons with typical ARPG games and make a game that relies on precision. So there's, you're going to be able to play on controller and mouse and keyboard. Now, some of their systems, they have customization system, which is unique in the game. And the first thing that just pops out is there are no class. There's no class system. And that's by design. There's no paladin. There's no rogue. There's no barbarian. They... Their premise behind the game is we just want to give the players the tools, a whole bunch of tools, and let them do their thing. This is how they... So your character will be molded and influenced by the gear you equip, the weapon that you're using, the stats that you utilize, decks, intelligence, etc., the ruins, the spells, there's all these things that will impact how your player feels and plays. Hence, why they didn't want to have a class system. They didn't want us to feel like we were stuck in that class confinement, if you know what I mean, right? So, like, I'm so excited about this. It's really nice. And what this is going to generate is just the endless possibilities of all us players getting our hands on this. And it's going to be very interesting to see what players come up with. We're not going to be confined to the class system. So that was like, wow, what, what a change and shift from a typical ARPG. Now, there's also going to be three weight classes, light, normal, and heavy. Each one is determined by the equipment and the and the gear and the weapons that you're wearing and that decides how your character evolves and moves um, so there's going to be three way classes itemization there are three armor types weapon types okay white is normal there will be no enchantments on white or normal blue is rare there's going to be apparently one to four enchantments with one of those being bad. And purple is unique. And obviously those have the unique enchantments. It's going to be interesting to see how that works. And the other thing that's really brilliant on and exciting about this game is the fact that they chose not only to give us the tools and the game is about obviously evolving your character, building your character and shaping it how you want. They also wanted to give us a platform. Typical ARPGs have multiple cities, multiple worlds. It's a vast, huge world, right? Now, no rest for the wicked. It is a open world and it's a massive open world. However, they wanted us to have a town one town, not many, where it was unique and it's dynamic and it's it's something that we can also work on, build on, level up, enhance. Um, we can shape and customize at our town base, basically our base. Um, so that is going to be another feature in the game that's going to give us ways to think about what we want to do with our base uh, now there's co-op there's pvp multiplayer from what i hear now remember i have not played the game this is all information that i've gathered at the end of the day we'll find out exactly what's going on but i wanted to do this video just announcing the fact that number one i will be playing no rest for the wicked commencing on april 18th i will get early access and I will be streaming it and obviously creating content on it. But I also wanted to alert you guys, if you've been living under a rock and you have not heard about this game, go check it out on Steam. Give it a look. And if it's something that you like, make sure you wish list it. And from what I hear, the game, to get early access, the game is going to be like 40 bucks, something like that. So it's nothing astronomical. And... 
I will be forewarning you. This is not, you're not going to be killing thousands of enemies every day. Uh, this is more strategic in nature of a game. Um, precision. It sounds like it's going to be a very, very, very difficult game. Oh my God, I can't wait. I, again, I don't want to say it's like a Souls-like game, but I played every Souls game. And if you have played Souls games, you know what I'm talking about. There's just no feeling of that kind of game. Uh, the struggles, the anger, it just brings out all the emotions. And I love what I'm hearing from Moon Studios. And oh, by the way, head over. I'm going to put the link, the video link in my description. Riker, like I said, interviewed Moon Studio devs four or five days ago, and he did a video. I encourage you to click the link, head over to Riker's channel and watch this video. It's 30 minutes long, but if you're going to be playing No Rest for the Wicked, it'll be 30 minutes well spent. And we all know Riker does really good in, uh, videos and interviews, so go check it out. And if you can, support Riker. He does a lot of work. I can't wait, guys. April 18th. I'm super excited. Let me know what you think. Are you playing? Are you excited? Are you not playing? I want to hear it. All right. Thanks, everybody. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Help grow my channel. And as always, we'll see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.